Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to use uh, snazzymaps.com. Uh, so it's a great uh, source for creating maps uh, for uh, case studies as well as um, your presentations. Um, especially if you're going to do like um, vehicular traffic or people traffic. Um, it's Google based and you can turn on and turn off a bunch of information. Um, so you can sign up um, uh, an account, it's free, and um, you don't have to purchase anything. But uh, what's great about setting up an account is you can save uh, maps that you really like using and you don't have to recreate what I'm about to show you over and over again. So it's like a one and done type thing. Um, so what you can do is go up here and explore different styles. You'll get ads, just close your ads. Um, and we can uh, go ahead and scroll down. Uh, these are some of the top ones that are used. Um, and you know what, let's, I like to use a very minimalistic colors uh, that way when I do create um, like a, a, a map that shows uh, vehicular paths and uh, people, uh, pedestrian paths, um, it stands out. So, um, let's see. Let's just try this. So, you click on that. Uh, this looks good. You can click as a favorite, uh, build a map, and then you can, it already added the style, so you don't have to, uh, or if it asks you to add a style, then you add the style. Um, and you can fill out the information, so add markers, uh, so you can edit, well, I already added a marker. Um, if you know the latitude and longitude, which most people don't, uh, you just type in the address. Uh, I type in the address of um, a particular school, the school that we go to, so East Chapman, and hit enter. And it'll give you the lat latitude and longitude uh, coordinates for Fullerton College. Um, styled marker, or you can use the default Google. Um, I like to use a styled. You can change the color to whatever you want. Um, there we go. Let's use that. Um, I could change the size if I want. Instead of, you know, a really big one. Apply changes. And then once you're done, uh, you can click on view style details right here. Again, you'll have ads. Um, and then this will bring up uh, this JavaScript style array code. Um, go ahead and click customize. And notice how my map is already kind of done. Uh, I can search location. Um, again, I'll just type in the address. There we go. And so this already has my preferences for what I want and this basically runs off of Google Maps and so if you look over here um, Google Maps ha will have labels and colors associated with country, province, locality, neighborhood, land parcels. Uh, there's a lot of information associated with that. Um, uh, let's see if I can. So, if I want to turn all of it off, I just 
I have it all off. Um, but if I want it back on, I can click on or simplified. I could do that. Um, or if I just want the geometry and not the text, I can do that. Um, and so I can customize how I want my map to look. And this is why I say create an account because who wants to do this over and over and over again? This 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 is a one and done setup. So um, so if I zoom out, this is what it'll look like um, in a map. Um, I think it's too bold, but you know I think it's good for a um, a tutorial. Uh, it helps with uh, contrast, but um, Anyway, as far as labels, um, I can turn them back on. Um, I can turn the geometry back on. And let's see. Neighborhood, land parcel. Yep. Text. Or label. Actually, just labels on. And if you want your labels like a different color, like the text a different color, go to fill and then you could change the color or just right here, change the color. Uh, you can go to hue or custom color and pick a particular color. If you want it black, uh, you can do it black. Uh, if you want it, you know, this dark blue, you can do it dark blue. So there's a lot of things you can do. If you're going to change the text color, make sure it's uniform. This. I would recommend copying and pasting to all the text and making it uniform. In fact, I would totally bring up a, a Word doc and um, copy and pasting uh, this number. And so whenever you want that particular color for text, um, then you can just copy and paste that into that and it'll bring up that exact color. So this number, actually all these numbers are associated with this exact color blue right here. So <clears throat> I, uh, I basically turned off a lot of this stuff. So if you go to administrative, all, um, I'm just going to turn off everything. And landscape, um, I'll leave. I'll leave that on. That leaves a lot of the geometry that you see in terms of the um, buildings. So I'll leave that on. Uh, the labels, you can turn them off um, and see how that went away and see how much cleaner that looks. Um, so, and once you're done with that, Points of interest, uh, you can turn those off as well. That way you don't have a lot of the uh, little icons and stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll notice icons on everything. Um, actually, let me turn this back on. And so you'll see. See all these icons? Yeah, that kind of just destroys the map. So turn that off. Um, roads is kind of what we want. And so, uh, highways, uh, you definitely want highways. Uh, you want to fill that in with a particular color, um, and then denote that color. Um, uh, so copy that and then change it to, uh, or actually, um, you know, oops, let's, and paste it and that way you'll have that and I like to change it to kind of uh, change the color of the text to match so I remember um, and then the local road color I want to change it uh, this isn't the right one but I want to change it and I'm going to show you how to change that and so the, the arterial um, those are the arteries that lead to the highways and um, so you can see the difference 
And so I, I want to create that contrast. Uh, so I want the local roads to be lighter and the highways to be uh, to have more contrast as well as the arteries. Um, and so I could actually probably tone down the arteries, um, but for video's sake and time's sake, um, actually, you know what, let's do that. Let's go to fill and let's see how that looks. Uh, and then local, we can change the local. Let's change that and see how that looks. Oh yeah, that looks nice. And so you can see how you can you can change how these um, these maps appear. Um, and I think I kind of want to change the uh, highway as well. I think it's too bright. Uh, so let's change the highway. There we go. And and that's it. So um, so now I need to document that. And go back to arterial fill uh, just to make sure. That way if I ever lose this content ever again, I have this um, information um, stored and it just it doesn't go away um, and I'll probably save it as a Google Doc and then I'll do the same thing with pedestrian traffic um, I'll probably just match this um, there we go and then save that as a custom map info template um, for this particular project. Now, can I change these colors for another project? Yeah, I can. Um, and so um, I would probably change this from template to the name of the project. And so that way, if I have a, a color scheme for a particular project, I can change the color scheme to match the project in my maps. Um, but that's it. Um, Stay tuned on how to create the pedestrian map. This is just for the traffic. Uh, I will post up another video, but to download, just click download image. Um, and I pretty much want this area. I also want to showcase um, the um, arteries. Um, actually, let's back up off of this. And if I want, I can, um, let's see, yeah, download image, um, probably zoom out some more. There we go. And now, uh, download image. There we go. So show the major arteries that, or I mean the major highways and the arteries that are from uh, Fulton College. And, and then I want to do a close up as well. So um, scale factor, um, this, I use it three times because this will make sure that I get a good quality uh, map. And that way uh, when I do go to print this out, it's not going to come out um, all messed up uh, and pixelated. And then I'll bring this up as well. Center the map. And then download image. Um, so I'll do that. And then I'll also do one. Um, so I'll download that image. So you get 10 free downloads a day. Um, and let's just, uh, 
there we go. Uh, let's mapping. And then I will also do one that is uh, zoomed in because I want to be able to do a pedestrian. And if I'm going to do a pedestrian for a particular building, um, but I want to get the whole school. Um, but in this case, if you're going to do, let's just say a house. So let me just grab a random house nearby. And I know there's neighborhoods nearby. So let's just grab this house. Um, Again, do the same thing. Download image. And, you know, center the house that you want. Uh, and then that way you can do pedestrian traffic and, um, in the same fashion. Download image and, and you're good to go. Um, and that's it. And that's it. Uh, we'll create the um, legend for the different colors. And that's why I say save these colors. So these colors uh, will definitely need this information because you can grab this, this information is universal. So when we create a legend for uh, highways, the arterial roads, the local roads, and then we can create another color strictly for pedestrian. So um, well, let me change this back to automatic. And then I'll paste in that color and then I'll save this file. Um, save as and um, map. study uh, pedestrian and traffic home office project and then you label it like that you know something something that you know exactly what it is um, you, I don't know you probably want to put the class as well and so that way you have spell things right and then save it and then that way you have this and so anytime you go to do something in uh, Adobe Illustrator or uh, Photoshop or InDesign you have those colors readily available for you and you don't have to look them up ever again and there you go save yourself some time and some headache